What up, TTC? This is uh, your boy, Cowboy Fan 0406. Um, I just want to talk real quick, you know, uh, about the Cowboys. It's their bye week. So, you know, I really don't give a shit about what happens. I mean, I kind of do, because I kind of all want the Eagles, the Redskins, and the, the Giants to lose, just so that the Cowboys can pull a little bit further ahead in the pack. So, you know, in case they do lose a game here or there, you know, they have a little bit of leeway, you know what I mean? Now, with this bye week coming up, um, and then we have, you know, we got two weeks to prepare for the Eagles, which is nice, which is good, because we're going to need it. Because for some reason, we play the Eagles, somehow, like, like, even if they could be playing shit all year, somehow, when we play against them, they, like, step their game up. And I don't understand how the fuck that happens, but it does. Um, my boy, Desert Eagle X90, uh, he, um, he's an Eagles fan. And we got a lot of trash talking to you for the next two weeks. Right now, his focus on the Vikings. Right now, I don't got no one, so I'm gonna be talking shit about the Eagles for the next two weeks. It's gonna be nice, it's gonna be fun. Um, hopefully, our defense can contain Carson Wentz because it seems like that's the only offense that they have. But even with the linemen being out and they have this guy, Big B, playing, from what I saw last week, he got put on his ass a lot. Like a lot. So. With um, our guys coming back, um, we got one of our guys back from suspension. Our defense is stepping up big time, big time, and it's awesome. It's awesome. It's a no-name defense because really, like, like there's really no big names on our defense. The only, the only consistent one on our defense, year in and year out, is Barry Church. That's it. Because Claiborne came out of nowhere. Carr played like shit for the past two, for the past few years. He's playing decent. And then you have J.J. Wilcox, who, like, I don't know, at first I was not a big fan, but he stepped up his game quite a bit, quite a bit this year. So I'm happy. And hopefully Sean Lee, you know, he's not hurt. He's not getting hurt. Hopefully he stays, he stays healthy this year. Because if he does, that's big for us. Huge. Because we're always, we're always um, um, short at the linebacker position. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, um, just one of the... Talk a little crap about the Eagles and um, you know, kind of kick them when they're down because they just lost to Washington. Who the fuck is the Washington? I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, Eagles fans, but who the hell loses to Washington? I mean, we beat Washington. I know we lost to the Giants, but we shouldn't have lost. And you know this, we all know this, we shouldn't have lost to the Giants. We should be, we should be 6 0, just like the, I mean, yeah, 6 0, just like Minnesota. Minnesota's about to be because what, the five? The five now? And they're about to beat the Eagles this year. I mean, this, this week, we're about to beat the Eagles. Um, but yeah, like, I'm excited for this year of football. Like, very excited. Like, I am ecstatic. It's it's great to be a Cowboy fan. Um, but a little bit of controversy that we got going on with uh, with Tony Romo. But um, I don't think that'll be a problem when he gets healthy. I still think it's, it's we're going to keep Dak. We're still going to keep Dak in there. Um, because if you've noticed, Jerry Jones was record on saying that it's Tony's team when he comes back and when he's healthy. Should be back by week eight, correct? Well, since Dak is on a roll and everyone's made it known that we want Dak as our quarterback and Dak is winning, now Jerry Jones has repealed the statement and has said he there's no timetable for when he wants to for when Rumble yeah. returns. See? That's Jerry Jones. Indirectly saying we're sticking with Dak. Yeah. Until Dak fucks up, Boys. we're sticking with Dak. Which is good, which yeah. you should do. You don't mess up that chemistry. You do not mess up that chemistry that's going on with Dak and, and, and Elliot. Because those two, those two rookies are tearing it up right now. Tearing it up. Like, it'd be awesome if one of them got Rookie of the Year and the other one got MVP. Or they both get MVP and they both share Rookie of the Year. That'd be great. It'd be awesome to my sins. And I'm not, I'm not gonna count my chicken for the hatch, but this is weird feeling. This never happens with Cowboys. This has happened in over 20 years. The last time the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. Because we were at 95, yeah, 21 years since we won the Super Bowl. So it's 2016. So it's just weird because somehow the stars are, al are aligning for us. Like, we beat Green Bay because Aaron Rodgers had an off year. We're about to go play the Eagles. We're about to play the Eagles in Jerry World. And I think we are going to destroy them. 
they shown weakness on their whole line. And our defense is playing better. Then we got the Browns. Then if Rafa, Ben Roethlisberger got hurt, like for real, like that's 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 huge for us. So if we go and we beat the Steelers, that's nine and one. Going against the Raiders, Flacco. Flacco hasn't been playing so hot. That defense hasn't been playing so great. This can be another tough game. But if we win that, it's eleven and one. Then who is it? Who are we playing after that? Who are we playing? We no, and then, yeah, and then, and then we got Minnesota on the th week 13, week 13, that's going to be our toughest game right there, and I feel if we can beat Minnesota, then I think we can take the NFC, we can go all the way to the NFC championship games, and I, I think we'll play the Seahawks in the NFC Championship game. That's my opinion. That's what I think is going to happen if we keep kicking ass what we do. Hopefully we can get one of the top two seeds and um, get that first round by. Lord knows we hate playing in the bye week. I mean, in that wild card week. It's just iffy. It's not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. I don't like playing in that wild card week. I want that week off. We get our guys rested, relaxed, you know. So, but let's go back to that, the Eagles. Like, come on. Like, Ronnie, Ronnie Matthews, right? He's gonna fumble. He's gonna have a couple fumbles. Or you know, he he puts, he puts the ball on the ground a lot. Um, your offense line, Big B's gonna be put on his ass. Carson Wentz might have might get sacked about like four or five times that game. So, and then hopefully, you know, he's off with his throwing. Hopefully, Barry Church gets a couple more interceptions. Um, I I just I don't see. I, unless the Cowboys just have horrible game. I don't see how the Eagles are going to win. Not at all. Not at all. Um, but yeah, I just, I don't get it. But uh, TTC, you know, I love this. I love this group. It's um, it's a fun group. A bunch, of cow a bunch of guys, football fans, talking shit to each other. It's fun. It's awesome. And I cannot wait till we play the Eagles, because then I got my boy, uh, Desert Eagle, X90, coming, I know he's gonna be talking shit, I know he is, he's talking all kinds of shit, but fuck it, bring it boy, bring it, let's see what you got, now I'm just firing the first shot, like I said, he has the Vikings to worry about, and there's a guy that plays that, in that group, but, and, um, he's a Vikings fan, so I know they're gonna be going at it, so, but, you know, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun when we play the Eagles. It's going to be fun when we play the Vikings. It's going to be fun when we play the Steelers. You know, hopefully we just murder the Browns. Like, Ezekiel Elliott is my number one draft pick for fantasy. And hopefully he gets about 200 plus yards against the Browns. That would be amazing. Yeah. Well, that's all I got to say. I'm going to get back to this football game. And uh, let's see what happens in this game. The Packers are up right now. Let's see if they can stay up.